learning to recognize lies and conspiracy fight for truth. As children of God, we are bombarded every day with lies, conspiracies and the truth buried in propaganda. How can we sift through the depth of lies, propaganda and conspiracies that we are fed by some section of the media daily? The first thing we need is to believe in God, know that Jesus died for you, and because of his death, you are free to see the lies that the devil and his minion perpetrate on our world. Let us delve into the biblical words of God and learn what he tells us about lies, propaganda and conspiracy. Proverbs 6 verses 16 to 19 These six things doth the Lord hate, yea, seven are an abomination unto him. A proud look, a lying tongue, and hands that shed innocent blood, and heart that deviseth wicked imaginations, feet that be swift in, running to mischief. A false witness that speaketh lies, and he that soweth discord among brethren. God called lies an abomination, that is how much he despises those who perpetuate lies. Proverbs 19 verse 9 A false witness shall not be unpunished, and he that speak lies shall perish. That is a promise from God because he uses the word shall, which mean it is absolute and if you perpetuate lies to his people, you will be held accountable. Proverbs 12 verse 19 The lip of truth shall be established forever, but a lying tongue is but for a moment. Psalm 101 verse 7 He that worketh deceit shall not dwell within my house he that taith lies shall not tarry in my sight. Luke 8 verse 17 For nothing is secret, that shall not be made manifest, neither anything hid, that shall not be known and come abroad. Proverbs 14 verse 5 A faithful witness will not lie, but a false witness will utter lies. Conspiracies What does the Bible say about this action? Isaiah verse 12 Say ye not, a confederacy, to all them to whom these people shall say, a confederacy. Neither fear ye their fear nor be afraid. God is warning us not to allow these conspiracies to cause us to fear. Jeremiah 11 verse 9 And the Lord said unto me, A conspiracy is found among the men of Judah, and the inhabitants of Jerusalem. Over two thousand years ago, God told us that conspiracy exists and even where those conspiracies will raise their ugly head. Daniel 11 verse 21 And in his estate shall stand up a vile person, to whom they shall not give the honor of the kingdom, but he shall come in peaceably and obtain the kingdom by flatteries. This is exactly what Donald Trump tries to do with the January 6th insurrection, and God, by his words, warned us how easy it could have been for a vile person to steal democracy. Romans 1 verses 21 and 22 Because that, when they knew God, they glorified him not as God, neither were thankful, but became vain in their imaginations, and their foolish heart was darkened. Professing themselves to be wise, they became fools. Lies, conspiracy and propaganda are so destructive, and the devil seems to be able to get his minion to use these counterproductive tools to cast doubt on the truth and the way that God told us in the Bible that we must be wary of. If we do not fight back and counter these lies, conspiracies and propaganda, we will allow a generation of people to be swept up by the devil.